uh, one of their workers who had pretended to be a social worker and had gotten uh, employment in a juvenile detention center and found scandalous goings on in their estimation. And Manu was furious and he called the cabinet minister, Claude Fouget. He said, I want to look into this. Hey, do I have your permission? I'll get a few group people together. We'll look into it. Um, and he did. Until our study, there was no real concept that children had rights. Uh, we were able to uh, make it clear that children had the same rights as adults and that um, they have a right to live happily, to be educated properly, and to be helped if they're in need of such help. If you look at not just Batshaw Youth and Family Centers, which is named after him, but if you look at all of the youth centers in Quebec, and there are 16 of them, and then you compare what they're doing with the recommendations of the Batshaw Report back in 1975, you'd be astounded at the similarities. What's most impressive is to watch Manny with the children, um, because when he's with the children, he speaks to them, and, and not every adult in this world speaks to a child. They speak at a child, is what I would refer to it. Manny speaks with the child, and he listens to the child, and he shows genuine interest in a child, um, so that they feel like they're the greatest person on earth. I met Manny about 16 years ago, and he asked Alvin and I to do an endowment fund for the Yiddish Theatre. I told him that I was quite virginal at fundraising, believe it or not, and he said that wasn't a problem for him. Um, maybe Alvin could help out. Um, as time went on, I saw that Alvin wasn't helping. He felt it was uh, too difficult a job, that people really wouldn't respond to Yiddish Theatre, and basically, um, Alvin and I began to argue because nothing was happening. I called Manny and I said, my marriage is in jeopardy. He said, I'll come right over. And he said, don't despair, you do it. And I sat with him as he began to show me the ropes. I learned quickly, I have to say, and I made him proud. And so Manny, thanks to you, I can say that you've taught me well. I'm eternally grateful. Are we done now? What I really wanted to say is I find him very sexy and he's hot, hot, hot. Uh, but I didn't think it'd be appropriate. Don't you know that it's worth every treasure on earth to be young at heart? Is there retirement in my future? Uh, well, I, I suppose there will be uh, physically, uh, but uh, not in my mind as long as it's working. Even at 94 years of age, I'm uh, determined to put my oar in again and still uh, in order to see if I can better things. So it'll be a forceful retirement. I won't go down without screaming. <laughs> and if you should survive to 105, Look at all you'll derive out of being alive. And here is the best part. You had a head start. If you all know him as Manny, but to us at the Yiddish Theater, he's Mendel. Mendel von uns Almen, mir bedanken euch bei eurer Arbeit, Liebschaft und Freundschaft. Mazel Tov, Mendel. Thank you for all you done, Manny. Manny. Thank you for being number one. Number you were hard one. as big as California. as California. Manny, we've only just begun. Thank you for all your dedication. All your dedication Manny, you're one of a kind. kind. We offer this little celebration for some of your deeds that come to mind. Our troubled kids were och in vain, but Manny came and saved the day. Forming centers left and right, helping Charles see the light. Law degrees in later years, having three or four careers. Shawbridge, and of course Mount Sinai too. Only just to name a few. Please raise a glass and toast Manny. Manny. Break out the French Chardonnay. Manny's immense worth a mention.
attention. <laughs>